Arizona Game and Fish is planning to bring more bighorn sheep to the Catalina Mountains. It's an extension of the program that released 31 sheep there last year to help restore a herd that died out about 20 years ago. More than half of the new group died, most killed by mountain lions. But Game and Fish says the new bighorn should not have such a rough time. Nine Sides' Craig Smith is here with more on what's different this time around, Craig. Well, one of the main reasons is they are planning to bring in sheep that are more lion savvy. These bighorns grew up in Tonto National Forest where there are more mountain lions. So those particular sheep have better instincts for staying safe. Game and Fish went near Yuma last year to collect the 31 sheep released near Push Ridge. The bighorns were moved to help reestablish a herd that died out in the 1990s. The department says efforts like that have grown Arizona's total bighorn population from 1,500 sheep to 5,500 over not quite 60 years. But the bighorns released on Push Ridge got a rough reception. Out of 31, about 18 died, most of them killed by mountain lions. But after six months, the bighorn deaths stopped. Wildlife experts think the sheep found their way to areas ideal for them. Open country where there are not many trees and shrubs lions can hide behind and steep terrain where the sure-footed sheep have an advantage. The plan as it stands right now is to put the new animals in as close as possible to the existing herd so they can make their way up into that ideal terrain and hopefully follow sun trails and other patterns that will help them join that established herd. And because plans call for the new sheep to be collected from areas where mountain lions are more common, they'll be wise to the ways of lions and better able to stay safe. Now, conditions for the bighorns have become good enough to allow the birth and likely survival of several bighorn lambs. Releasing a new group of adult sheep in November improves the chance of still more lambs this spring. Live in the newsroom, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. All right, Craig, thank you very much for that.